Hello friends, welcome back to uh, Auto Developer Tutorial video. We were discussing about the model constraint that and uh, we have completed Python constraint in the last video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the SQL constraints that we use in code. Okay, so now uh, as you know, uh, the SQL constraints uh, is a part of Postgres SQL and you can have a better picture uh, when you check the uh, Postgres SQL, uh, SQL methods for the SQL constraints we will have a, a small look at the, the, that case that we simply use these methods that we have in the SQL constraints in order Here what we have put, uh, done is we have added a constraint in openacademy.course that is uh, this is how we define the SQL constraints with uh, this attribute the model attribute just like you see uh, the name description just like that we give another attribute called model SQL constraints okay so it's a list simply a list and in that list it's a tuple of three items here we put the name of that country and this is the sql definition of the country that we are going to put and this is uh, just a message uh, whenever this uh, constraint is violated then this function uh, this uh, so, uh, this will be the message that will arise and this is the another uh, constraint okay so uh, we can add multiple constraints like this by just simply putting commas uh, in between so name unique so uh, it will check for the unique name uh, if the name is not unique this uh, message will be arise into the user interface so we put two constraints on our open academy dot course model now let's check uh, what it will bring to us in our user interface in our application let's go to the apps and have a upgrade So this is these are the course that we have so we have put the two constraints one is name unique and another one is name description check we cannot have the description and name same okay let's try to put the same description here and check what happens okay the title of the course should be the, should not be the description so uh, this is how the SQL constraint works okay I just put some okay just discard this so our item <clears throat> 
so another case is we cannot we, uh, another constraint that we put or the skill constraint is we cannot have the same name for two courses now let's create one course zero again you see the course title must be unique so this is how uh, we create sql constraints just like the other uh, constraint uh, the python constraint you can have uh, more examples in the from the odoo source code you can uh, if you don't know how to open this search uh, window you can just click here right click here any any folder you can right click and uh, you can see you can click uh, here a point in path okay so uh, you can use this shortcut also controls plus shift plus F so this is how uh, I am opening this search method search window see there are a lot of SQL constraint examples that you can have a look at in the source code see a lot of uh, examples are the name company unique unique name types and there are a uh, lot of examples that you can refer to so uh, have a better look at the, into these uh, examples and to improve your uh, ideas about the SQL constraints so this is how the SQL constraint works so uh, now um, I would like to add something uh, into this uh, subject it's a uh, we already given a name unique constraint to this uh, session sorry open academy course object when we take a duplicate of a course what will happen the course title must be unique that means we cannot create a duplicate see whenever we try to create a duplicate this error will rise so to handle this we have a method let's get back into our code i have a different i have overrided the default copy method and re-implemented our my own copy method okay mm, my own copy method to handle this copy function okay so what it is doing is it takes the self default is equal to dick dot default copied count how much uh, items that we selected and that kind of things so it's count if not copied count new name is equal to copy of into that uh, we will add the self dot name okay so what it will do is simply it will create the new record with the name copy of whatever the name we put for the our original record so uh, let's try this you see the copy of course zero so uh, this is uh, one way that we can handle these uh, constraints i hope you understood the video and uh, understood the concept and enjoy, uh, i hope you have enjoyed the video thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done yet and keep watching and get updated about the odoo development methods have a nice day if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.